Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Jeremy Franklin. On the set this week is our Director of Athletics, Jan Hathorne. But first, here's a quick look back at last weekend in Washington and Lee Sports. The men's basketball team improved to 5-2 with a 61-58 win at Averitt on Saturday. Men's and women's swimming competed at the University of Virginia Invitational over the weekend, while the wrestling team took part in the Messiah Petrophis Invitational on Saturday. For more information on these events, as well as wrestling's Wednesday night duel meet against Southern Virginia, check out generalsports.com. With me now is Jan Hathorne. Jan, welcome back to WNL Sports Weekly. Thanks, Jeremy. It's great to be here. The highlight of the fall, obviously, an ODAC championship for women's soccer, and the news coming out this week, Kat Lawson named first-team All-American, and Emily Leary, the ODAC Player of the Year, the goalie, a second-team All-American selection. Kat's the first-ever first-team All-American for Washington and Lee women's soccer, and Emily is just the fourth All-American of any sort for the program, so obviously this is great recognition for the team and uh, for that program. Yeah, this is fabulous. Um, I don't, in all the time that I've been at WNL, we have been hoping and praying and putting people in positions where it, we thought that All-American status was going to come to someone. And, and it couldn't be better timing that it happened this, this year to Emily and to Kat. It's, it's one of those things that you never know. It's a political decision. It's based on statistics. It's based on win-loss record of the team. So it's always sort of a variable that you, you can never guarantee or count on. And you, there's many times when an All-American career has happened or All-American season has happened and you don't get the recognition. So this is just icing on the cake, as they say, and it's, it's fabulous. If you were to make a short list of the best programs for the Old Dominion Athletic Conference, the best sports on the national level, I think you put men's lacrosse, men's basketball, and women's soccer on there. To me, those are the three where the conference is so competitive year after year on the national level. Looking at women's soccer, the Lynchburg team that ended the general season winds up in the final four, and Virginia Wesleyan was there a couple of years ago. So how special is it for an ODAC championship to happen in women's soccer? Well, as you just said, it's extremely special because uh, the competition is just so strong. Lynchburg College not only got to the final four, they lost in penalty kicks. Uh, four to three, so they had every opportunity to be in the national championship game. Um, so you can't, you don't ever want to discount when a team has won a conference championship, and in particular, you don't ever want to discount a conference championship in women's soccer in this conference because, it, as you said, it is of national caliber. Overall, what was your impression of the fall season at Washington and Lee? I think the fall season was a good one. We, we didn't necessarily have some of the typical results, and I say typical in the sense that we have come to expect conference championships out of certain teams. Um, our women's cross-country team had a fantastic season for a team that was rebooting, in a sense, uh, after the graduation of some very key seniors. But they ended up um, doing way more than and we anticipated. In some ways, the players on the team never felt like it was going to be that much of a down year. So um, they came in a very close second. Um, our men's cross-country team probably has the uh, personnel to be the conference champions, but then three of those key runners were injured and not able to run. Um, our volleyball team had a lot of changes in the way that they strategically and tactically uh, did some of the things that, that they do on the court. And so with that, plus a, a new crop of young athletes and some key graduating seniors, you sort of mix all that together and you've got a team that is year in and year out your conference champion, yet has possibly situated themselves for the future in a better way than ever before. Um, football had so many close games, it's, it's, it's too close to count, 35 point difference in seven games overall. So, um, you know, I, I felt like we could have won a, a number of those games. So, you know, a few points here, a few points there, somebody not injured here and there, and we have a very, very successful fall when it comes to postseason awards and titles. Um, even if we don't have titles, I feel like we had a very successful fall, and I, I do believe that our teams did do exactly that. They rebooted in some very key positions and in, um, overall uh, potential and overall depth. So I think we're, we're going to be fine. It just On the surface, it looks a little bit like it wasn't quite as successful. We're in the winter now, and just a few short years ago, pretty much Washington at least hopes we're on the women's swimming team to win another ODAC championship. 
Now you're looking at the women's indoor track team coming off a conference title. The men are right there with the best teams in the conference based on what Nate Hoey has done. Women's swimming continues to excel. Men's swimming a fixture in the national rankings for Division Three. Wrestling team that is young but competitive. And two basketball teams coming off of winning seasons as well. How has the attitude about winter sports at Washington and Lee changed? Well, it has changed, and it's changed for the positive. It's, it's a great sense of anticipation and expectation when um, when we got to the point where games started and matches started and swim meets started, everybody has a very, very positive outlook and uh, I think are in high spirits. And we do expect them to do better, all those teams, or to do what they've always done or what we've come to expect from them. Our men's and women's swimming programs will have good years again. Um, basketball in particular, both men's and women's, there's a new sort of, um, well, I, I guess a renewed excitement about their their uh, seasons, and I, I really think that the, before we get to the holiday break, it's sort of a feeling out stage, and then they come back from holiday break, and it's ready to go at it full speed because it's really the majority of their season. And I think they've gotten some kinks out. They've gotten some good looks at what it is that will get them through the coming season, and um, so the excitement is there. Uh, same with wrestling. As you said, indoor track and field, same. I mean, it really is a renewed environment for everyone, and the spirit about it, and especially from the coaches, is a very, very positive spirit, and the attitudes are really high. Looking way ahead now, what kind of expectations do you have for the spring? Well, that's not all that far ahead, actually. Um, a lot of our spring sports will begin their practices by the end of January, so. Um, we have high expectations for the spring as well. I, mean, I, I think it's just somewhat typical at Washington and Lee, we've come to expect success, that it's typical to have high expectations of every season. Um, we are going to have, I think we're going to have a, a, a great fall or a great spring, and I think our spring sports are poised to do, to do big things, especially, um, I know men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse are uh, picked fairly high in the conference. I think our tennis is going to return to, uh, men's and women's tennis are going to return to the top of the league. Um, once again, very, very high spirits, very positive attitudes, and excitement to get started. With high expectations for the winter and spring then, can Washington and Lee catch Lynchburg for the ODAC Champions Cup? I think there's no question we can catch Lynchburg. Um, I, I really believe that we have, we have been through a fall that is a little bit unusual and Lynchburg at this point is sitting in a good spot, but I, I think our winter season and our spring season have, as you know, have yet to be played out and I think there's a very good chance that we could be right back where we usually are and that's at the top of the league. So I, I think we can catch them. I, I fully believe that that's the goal. It's been a very fun fall and there are obviously some exciting things going on in the winter and being anticipated for the spring, but is everyone ready for just a little bit of a break right now? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> a break right now is great timing. Um, from the sports information office to the athletic training office to the coaches and the teams, you know, the teams that are in season get a very short break, but I think they're looking forward to some downtime and some change in the, the um, speed of the day in particular. And that the, when they do come back to campus or if they stay on campus before they go home for some of the break, they'll have um, no class and opportunity to relax and let down. So yeah, it's very needed and it's very welcomed and I'm, I'm pretty certain everyone's gonna take uh, great advantage of that. Well, Jan, thank you once again for joining us here. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, thank you. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Have a safe and happy holiday, and we'll see you back here in January.